Blessed Gregory, raised upon the throne of Peter, sought always the beauty of the Lord and lived in celebration of that love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Gregory the Great, a Pope and a Doctor of the Church. Gregory, who of course sent St. Augustine to Kent to bring Christianity back into England. And we pray in thanksgiving for the wise decision he had made. Let us pray that our faith in this country will grow stronger and stronger through the love and the concern that Pope St. Gregory had for our country. We ask, Lord, now to help us to spread the good news through our actions and ask him for forgiveness for those times we fail. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of our Father, Pope St. Gregory, who sent the first missionaries to our land, endow, we pray, with a spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Since we have, by an act of mercy, been entrusted with this work of administration, there is no weakening on our part. On the contrary, we will have none of the reticence of those who are ashamed, no deceitfulness or watering down the word of God but the way we commend ourselves to every human being with a conscience is by stating the truth openly in the sight of God. For it is not ourselves that we are preaching, but Christ Jesus as the Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. It is the same God that said, Let there be light shining out of darkness, who has shone in our minds to radiate the light of the knowledge of God's glory, the glory on the face of Christ. We are only the earthenware jars that hold this treasure to make it clear that such an overwhelming power comes from God and not from us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim the wonders wonders of of the Lord Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim Proclaim the wonders wonders of the Lord Lord among all the peoples. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Proclaim Proclaim the wonders of the Lord Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Proclaim, Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the people. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. A dispute arose between the apostles about which should be reckoned the greatest. But Jesus said to them, Among pagans did the kings who lord it over them, and those who have authority over them are given the title benefactor. This must not happen with you. No, the greatest among you must behave as if he were the youngest, the leader as if he was the one who serves. For who is the greater, the one at table or the one who serves? The one at table, surely. Yet here am I among you as the one who serves. You are the men who have stood by me faithfully in my trials. And now I confer a kingdom on you, just as my father conferred one on me. You will eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Gregory the Great was born in 540. And when, as he'd grown up, he was the prefect of Rome before he decided to change his ways and enter the monastery. And while in the monastery, he got involved with Rome again to be chosen as the Pope in 590. He most certainly would have read that particular gospel passage on numerous occasions because the one thing he did always and practice was that he was the one who serves. He guided the people, he helped the people, and he sent St. Augustine to England to bring the faith into the Kent area, the south, the southeast really. And in the ensuing so, of course, we got the faith here. Of course, St. Patrick and St. David were a couple of centuries earlier, but they were on the west side. 
the east, yes, the west side, that's right. We're on the east. And St. Augustine did a tremendous role in bringing the faith to our country. The Pope Gregory, of course, was wonderful in the care of his people. He was, of course, a highly intelligent man and wrote many articles and books and to become and known as a doctor of the church. But his love was to help and to show how important it was as the leader that he was there not to go around dictating and showing off, but to serve. We pray that our leaders today, our, our Pope most certainly does it, our bishops as well, and our priests, that we all remind ourselves of the importance of who we are, that we are here to serve the people, as Jesus himself tells us. The one at table is the one who serves. Here I am among you as the one who serves. And that, they're the words of Jesus. And Jesus, that message should be foremost in our minds as priests, religious, in the role that we have. We're here to help, to guide, and of course to give advice and to encourage everybody to serve the Lord in every way that is possible. Let us pray for that St. Gregory will help us and guide us so that each and every one of us will one day be with him in the kingdom of heaven. And so we stand now to, for our prayers. God our Father, we ask you to listen to the prayers that we place before you. And we pray for the intentions of Lucia Lafitte, for whom we're offering this Mass. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests and deacons, we pray special Bishop Allen, of course, the priests of our deanery, of course, that each and every one of us will always be reminded through the guidance of St. Gregory of the role that we have in serving the people of God. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, too, for all of us in the parish, that each and every one of us has that same responsibility of serving the Lord and that we do our utmost to fulfill it. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to guide, continue to guide our doctors and our nurses as they work extremely hard in trying to alleviate the terrible COVID that's going around. And sadly, the numbers still go up. Let us pray that they will stop and start going back down. Lord, in your mercy. Most of our schools are open now. We pray for the teachers and all the staff in the schools. We pray for all the children and the students that the Holy Spirit will guide and help them throughout this new academic year. Lord, in your mercy. We pray also for all who have asked us to keep them in our prayers. Lord, in your mercy. And we ask Mary to join with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities and us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant us supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Gregory, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts you have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Gregory the Great, St. Michael, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servants Francis our Pope, Alan our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
receive his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. those watching online, an act of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you are already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen.
This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in work of charity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.